Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Manchester City have made their third signing of the summer, Stefan Ortega. Uh, it's actually o Stefan Ortega Moreno, in fact, has signed from Manchester City on a free transfer from Armenia Bielfeld over in the Bundesliga. It's interesting to see how this goes down, isn't it? We've got basically our new backup goalkeeper, a man that we're going to be seeing plenty of, of course, over the coming season. So today, I thought we'd talk about it a little bit with you guys. Uh, talk about what this guy could potentially bring to the squad. Now, obviously, the real disclaimer here from me, as always, is one of honesty and truthfulness that you probably won't find on many other places on the internet when it comes to football. But I will be honest and say that all my knowledge of Stefan Ortega has come from the last couple of weeks in particular. And I've done my best, like everyone else, to try and catch up on what we can learn from this guy. Um, but still, I've got a genuinely pretty good gist of what we're going to get from this keeper now. And I'm very excited to see how he gets on in the inevitable FA Cup or Carabao Cup games and so on. And who knows? You know, fingers crossed, touch wood, it doesn't happen. But we may see him in the Premier League if Edison is suspended or injured or something like that. So what will be signed? <coughs> Well, we've signed basically our new backup keeper. It looks like uh, Zach Steffen is going to Middlesbrough on loan because he obviously craves first team football right now. Um, and he wants that. He's going to get it at Middlesbrough. So hopefully he can get in the World Cup squad for America, which makes an awful lot of sense. And this basically signing was one more of necessity. It wasn't one really probably to change the first team, but it was one of necessity that Manchester City feel has the sufficient quality to at least keep that squad level, if not slightly better than it currently was. And that is sort of what matters. And to be honest, he looks genuinely like a good keeper, man. He looks like a genuinely good keeper. And I reckon he's come in just to challenge. He has come in to challenge. Obviously, Edison is number one. And he's the number one next week and the month after that by some way. Like, Edison has to have, like, a genuine shocker to not be number one anytime soon. But having said that, Ortega isn't come here just to, you know, he's not come here just to do nothing and sit on the bench. He's 29 years old. He's not, like, exceptionally old. He's not, like, essentially seen out his career at this point. He's at the peak of his game right now, genuinely. A keeper at his age has essentially reached their peak. And you'll probably know that he's won little bit of luck away from being Manchester City's number one and that is how it happens you never know if a player can get injured or suspended or have bad form and all of a sudden he's got that number one shirt so what I like about this guy is he looks really confident and um, I watched his interview on Manchester City's website uh, on youtube.com um Honestly, I liked what I saw. He seems like a really intelligent man, uh, uh, a bit of a personality as well, playful. He called himself a bit of a joker. Uh, and he's obviously aware that he's going to have to be kind of like conscientious uh, and alive and alert to get a chance in this Manchester City squad. And he also made a joke that Haaland, despite playing against him, has never scored against him. And I like that confidence, Stefan. Uh, Stefan, obviously, is just basically, you know, an alternative on Stephen there as a name. So the guy's obviously got wit and charm and... It comes from the name, definitely. But um, basically, um, this guy's got a little bit of confidence to his game. Now, what do we know about him in general? Like, I am not an expert on this guy, but we'll run some, through some information uh, together. Uh, I'll jump over, over to a blog that I found from the Bundesliga. And here it goes. I'll, I'll fit on the screen a little bit more. It says he was born in the German county of Calden to Spanish parents. Or take out a single international court to his name as a youngster, but he was a new substitute for Germany's under 19s. So he, he was born in Germany, but to Spanish parents, which is interesting. It makes an awful lot of sense. You know, why um, Why he's got that name, for example, that very exotic name. Um Basically, he's moved around a little bit. He's been up and down with, I mean, Bielfeld, but he's been there for an awful long time now. I've jumped over to, uh, he's been at, I've jumped over to Wikipedia. He's been there since 2017, which is not an insane amount of time, but it's, you know, he's he's done really well for them and been part of their up and down kind of yo-yo club status, essentially. He did well at, at 1860 Munich as well. Um, and last season, he was one of the best goalkeepers over in the Bundesliga, genuinely. Now, Manchester City, put this on their, on their, their, their website. Uh, there's obviously Cheeky doing his little kind of traditional little kind of cheeky kind of pose that he always does. Uh, it says... Uh, Manchester City have completed the signing of goalkeeper Stefan Ortega Moreno on a three-year deal. The 29-year-old has joined the club in a free transfer after his contract at Armenia Bielfeld expired. The experienced German bolsters City's goalkeeping options and becomes the second signing of the summer following Erling Haaland to the club. He'll wear the number 18 shirt. The move is subject to international clearance of him joining up with the squad this month ahead of pre-season. Uh, Moreno says the chance to join City was an opportunity he could not miss. He said, um, this is a fantastic 
fantastic move for me. City are an amazing team, a squad with world-class quality in every area. To be given the chance to join this group of players and help continue the club's success is a dream for me. I've enjoyed my time in Germany and I want to thank the Armenia Bielfeld fans. I can never pronounce that, I apologise, for their support. But this new challenge of coming to City and playing in the Premier League is too good for me to ignore. I can't wait to get started, meet my teammates and begin working with Pep and his backroom staff. Cheeky had this to say, this is a very good deal for City. Stefan has excellent pedigree, his career speaks for itself. We're signing a goalkeeper with vast experience and he will help us in our quest for more trophies. He's joined to compete with the other goalkeepers and help our youngsters. So he's a transfer we're really pleased to have secured. So yeah, basically, um, he's very reliable. As it, the article says, he started all but one of uh, Armenia's Bundesliga matches last term, was never present in the league during the 21-22 campaign. Uh, he made 220 appearances across two different spells at Armenia. Um, he joined as a youngster in 2007. Um, he made his first team debut four days later, helping them win promotion uh, to Bundesliga 2 in 2013. Um... Basically, yeah, it looks like he's got a very interesting little career going before he came to Manchester City. But I'm looking forward to see how he gets on, man. He speaks really good English, by the way, which absolutely will help. He is German, by the way. Uh, someone asked if he's Spanish, but he's got Spanish parents. He's born in Germany. And I think he wants to represent Germany. He hasn't got an international cap yet, but we'll see how that goes. Now, how does he play? Now, I've been doing the research like everyone else. Um, to me, what I like for what I've, what I've seen online about him is he seems to be a really kind of good keeper at the fundamentals. You know, he looks like he's very good at rushing off his line. He has absolutely cat-like reflexes, genuinely. As a pure shot stopper, he looks excellent, if I'm being honest. It's no coincidence that the likes of Bayer Leverkusen were sniffing around him at one point. Even Bayern, I think, were linked to him at some point. Um, he genuinely... Um, Seems to have, though, really, really good reflexes. Like a proper shot stopper. Uh, as Alfie's just pointed out in the chat as well, only six foot, uh, someone said. Is that the more norm nowadays for one of keepers? I don't know, Alfie. Uh, he's only six foot, apparently, according to someone else. I don't know how true that is, but that's the rumor going around. Um, basically... I've watched the compilations of his shot stopping and all that kind of stuff. This guy can save a shot. Dare I say it? Probably, I mean... I don't know. I can't prove it until he's up against the Premier League regularly or whatever. Um, but he looks like a shot stopper that could potentially be a little bit better than Edison. Edison is a, a great all-round keeper and obviously excellent with his distribution. But this Ortega looks like one of those guys who's essentially a bit like a cat. You know, some of the, sh the, the saves he makes defy, uh, <laughs> defy reality. They're genuinely astonishingly good saves. Having said that, you've got to bear in mind when you play for Armenia, who won the worst teams in the Bundesliga, with all due respect to them, you get more shots to save and you get more chance to make the spectacular save. So it's it's weird being a keeper for a, a team fighting relegation than it is at the top where it's all about concentration. It's all about um, being alert because you have so little to do. You get so little practice and so little chance to get momentum and rhythm. So I honestly do think, though, he looks like it may be a better shot stopper than Edison. Uh, I can't prove that until we see, obviously, side by side and see how he gets on in a Manchester City shirt with the levels very different. The football is very different. But his fundamentals as a keeper, uh, his shot stopping is absolutely excellent. Now, I was doing a little bit of research on his passing. He doesn't look like he's quite Edison's level that way. He doesn't. And I mean that with all due respect. Edison, I, Edison, if I'm being honest, is kind of sort of one-off freak. Edison is the kind of keeper where that passing is obviously what... It's his... Je ne sais quoi. It's something a little bit special. It's his special move, basically, Edison. Like, that's what makes him stand out. And that's what makes Guardiola loves him. That calmness personified at the back and that ability to essentially launch attacks constantly. But... His distribution is pretty good. Now, he's pretty good as well at the longer diagonals, uh, kind of spreading it out to the fullbacks. I've seen a little bit of kind of um, work at it, uh, analysis on it, and his long passes are genuinely pretty good, which is... Um, which is very, very encouraging. He's way above average when it comes to long passes being completed, which is, once again, encouraging. Um, so if you can play those diagonals and split it over to the likes of Cancelo or Walker, that is really, really useful. Now... Obviously, footwork and all that kind of stuff isn't just about um, passing as well. His footwork, uh, he's racing off the line, he's closing down from one-on-ones. According to some analysis I've read online, I am not a goalkeeping expert, but it seems to back up with the videos that I've seen. It is sort of above average. He's very aggressive with his foot footwork. Um, he's very, very active. I like active keepers who aren't passive, who don't sit back. He feels very much like the kind of guy 
who likes to dive in and get aggressive and all that kind of stuff. And he seems to time as well. He's coming off the line really, really well. Essentially, it goes back to what I was saying a few minutes ago. Like, he really does seem to be a very well-rounded goalkeeper and probably slightly more suited to Manchester City than Zach Steffen was. Steffen... I feel like was okay with his feet, but he was more old-fashioned keeper, learning how to be, um, learning how to be uh, a Man City keeper. Whereas I think Ortega's got a little bit more of that to his game already, and it probably helps that in the Bundesliga as well. They're quite a progressive league, and he's been learning over there as well. Um, so he seems to be a good keeper all round, basically. Now, realistically. It's going to be very hard, very hard for him to kind of get into Manchester City's team. We all sort of know this, man. Um, but he has the quality, if he comes into it, that to be really, really useful. Now, I'll jump back over to this blog over here uh, and read these stats together. Uh, this is from the Bundesliga blog about him. They like to do blogs on the plays over in the Bundesliga, which I find really interesting. I'll show you the stats right there now. Uh in the big time, in the Bundesliga, that's what they're getting at here, it says, um, Ortega proved to be almost as unbeatable as he'd been at a lower key level, keeping 11 shutouts during his Bundesliga debut Bundesliga campaign. He also boasted the third best save ratio, uh, just under 70%, and even provided the assist for Bielfeld's first goal back in the big time from one of his uh, league-leading hauler passes for a goalkeeper. So, once again, statistically, as a goalkeeper's up there, got an assist as well, very Edison-like. Um, in 2021-22, he was unable to start them getting relegated despite having the second most saves in the Bundesliga, which is impressive. I won't play that clip because it will mess up my channel. Um, it says, Ortega is unique in the Bundesliga for being a sub-6 foot one keeper with the abilities to cover every angle of his goal frame. The same height, um, with the same self... self <laughs> with the self... The self... What's it say? Self-same jungle cat reactions. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Our PSG's Kayla Navas provides a handy reference point. If he's like Kayla Navas, I'll take that. That's a... You know, he's a quality player. So, um, yeah, so there we go. He's, he's Navas, allegedly. Um, <laughs> some of the saves he's made, apparently, that's interesting. Uh, the Wolfsburg coach, Florian uh, Kofeld, said he's more like an outfield player. So that's really interesting indeed. So if he's getting that kind of praise, fair play to him. That that was a tongue twister, that. What was it? I'm going to read that again, what, what it said. It was... Um, the self-same jungle cat reactions... Self same jungle cat reactions. What does that mean, Bundesliga blog? That is a, a, a hell of a <laughs> yeah, it's a hell of a way to put it. But we've got a keeper here who's coming in who's clearly very, very competent. In terms of his squad status, he obviously is the backup to Edison, and that obviously is fine. He seems to be very aware of that. Watching his interview at Manchester City, he, he has a of an understanding of, of his squad status and all that kind of stuff and what's going to be expected from him. Um but I think at the same time he gets uh he, he understandably um, gets that he, he's, he's essentially he's not going to be the number one. And that's totally, totally fine, man. Uh, it's totally, totally fine, isn't it? Um, you know, I've just realized I've spelled, I've spelled bloody Ortega's name wrong on the thumbnail. Apologies. Uh, let me just sort that out quickly. Someone just pointed it out to me, uh, and I, I'm going to quickly change that right now as I, I go for it. Uh, what a muppet I am. I got a DM there about it. Um, so, but yeah, I think he understands his squad status, basically. Um, I'll read some of his quotes, essentially, about his game over here. I'll go back over here. He says, um, I think I am a good teammate and I make a lot of jokes. Good lad, good lad. You, you need to have a good personality to be in this Manchester City squad anyway. You'll get on with Scott Carson. Uh, the Germans, by the way, in general, I love a sense of humour. Very blunt, very direct. Um, but on the pitch, I want to win every game. Whether it's a training game or a real game, I'm ambitious and want to reach the top. Uh, he said, I think I'm a modern goalkeeper, good with my feet. Um... And a good shot stop it. That seems to match up for what I've seen. But I think I'm not at my highest level now. So I hope that Xavi uh, Mancisador, who's the city goalkeeping coach, can help me a lot. I'm sure he can, man. I'm sure he can. He said, the last two years I played to avoid relegation from the Bundesliga. So it's a totally new for me to play uh, for a title in the Premier League, also the Champions League, the FA Cup and the League Cup. It's really interesting, but I'm looking forward to it and I am ready. And you do get the impression that he understands his role in this team and that, you know, he isn't going to be the first choice signing and start and all that kind of stuff. Uh, he's got the humility to understand that, but that doesn't mean he can't get in there, you know? You have to understand... Uh, uh, <laughs> Ortega, Ortega here. Cheers, Alfie. I mean, I've added De Gea in there by accident into his actual name. I apologise to Stefan Ortega. Uh, I've changed the thumbnail now, by the way, Stefan, if you're watching uh, somehow, mate. Uh, welcome to Manchester City, by the way. The thumbnail's updated now. Um, but yeah, he understands that he's not going to be playing every single week, but I think he actually has the idea that 
Who knows, man? Maybe you could actually get into the team. Um, he said, I have watched uh, Edison a lot of times in the Premier League and the Champions League. He has one or two assists with the long ball. And that is one of the things I like about goalkeepers when they have a really good long ball. He's a very good goalkeeper. Yeah, so welcome to the club, man. Welcome to the club. He said, for me, it was important the opportunity to join one of the biggest clubs in the world. And a side note there, that's how we are viewed now. People can laugh and talk about Man City not being a big club because we don't have... 10 billion fans around the world as if the fan base isn't growing every single day but the only thing that matters well clearly the city have, we literally sell 50 odd thousand pretty much every single week for tickets but either way away from that the only thing that matters is what the players think and the coaches think and Manchester City are seen as absolutely huge around the world so people can pretend that they're not but that is literally true and it's literally just how it is and that's how Ortega sees it and it's fascinating to see people coming here very good to be the backup essentially um he said, uh, also, it's a chance to experience a new country, a new culture in the best league in the world. The whole package was perfect for me. I needed a lot of time to think about it because it's a huge step. But now I'm very happy to be part of a club like Man City. I'm ambitious enough to show my best performances and push my teammates to be the best in this team. I'm looking forward to working with the guys, the coaches, with the goalkeeper coach, Zabi, and also with the goalkeeping team. I am really happy. Yeah, I mean, I actually think he is ambitious. And I actually do think he feels like he could make it into this team. And you've got to admire that. You have to. Um, you have to admire that uh, he has that self-belief. And to be honest, maybe there's an argument that Edison needs a push and needs a challenge, man. Like, Alfster in the chat just asked about Stefan. Do you think he's done here? Loan than a sale? Um, he'll likely be third choice if not. Yeah, absolutely. I think his Manchester City career is over. But to be honest, his Man City career um, has been good for him, I think, overall, you know. He got him and moved to, you know, to Europe and all that kind of stuff. He, he learned a lot around Manchester City. He won a few trophies. Uh, he's at 27 years old now. A good time to kick on. He's obviously had, you know, the loan at Dusseldorf um, uh, in the past as well. He's established himself with America. It's been good for him. And I like him. He seems like a really nice lad. He's a really smart lad as well. But it's just, just not quite... Not quite the, chat, the the time for him at Manchester City. Maybe we're in a different era now where he's got the attributes that don't quite line up with what City want. But I think Stefan is absolutely going to make it a, a Premier League level in terms of quality. I feel like he just lost his confidence a little bit with a passing out for the back. And the Liverpool game was probably a step too far for him. And after that, there's pretty much no way back for him, I don't think, really. Because it's just how it works sometimes. But I wish him all the best. Whereas this guy coming in... I reckon he feels like he can challenge Edison. I think Edison probably needs to feel that. All it takes is, um, you know, Edison to get an injury or two, maybe have a bad game here and there. And this guy, I know it's an awful lot of maybes and ifs, buts and all that kind of stuff, but if he really kind of steps in and does his job and wins a couple of trophies, who knows? Who knows? This guy does have the pedigree and he's been doing it in one of Europe's best leagues as well, in the Bundesliga, against quality forwards. So basically, he's got much more pedigree, I would say, than Zach Steffen has. I mean, in terms of actual development in his career, he's got more experience in Europe and all that kind of stuff. So with all due respect to Steffen... Um, this Ortega fella seems like a better fit for Manchester City right now. Um, and he does seem to admire the goalkeeping coach as well. He mentioned him a couple of times in the interviews. Um, uh, Chabi Mancisi, I can't pronounce it, is quite highly respected and a really nice guy from what I'm aware in general. Uh, so uh, it's interesting to see how he works with him. But overall, I think this is an astute signing. Like, um, I literally don't know much more than any of you guys, but I do know that City are kind of smartly getting the job done this summer. Obviously, there's loads more that could happen. Uh, Calvin Phillips is rumoured to be coming in very, very soon as well, so we'll have to see how that goes. Um, but I think Edison needs it, man. Edison, I think, had a slightly poor season by his standards. I mean, I don't think he was anywhere, nerf, anywhere, anywhere near worth the hate that he was getting, if I'm being honest. It felt a bit over the top. It was disproportional, but that is Twitter for you. Um... But he maybe did have a slightly lesser season than he would have liked. Um, so we'll have to see how uh, he how he develops this season with a new change around him. Maybe someone who comes in with a uh, real aggression and an ability um, will actually raise Edison's level to the standard that he needs to be. I think he's lost a bit of form last season. But look, people act like he was he's always been terrible. It's just not true. It's just not true. No one was moaning about Edison a couple of years back. No one was. Um Super chat from Anthony Gaming says Chris is definitely Anthony is definitely definitely uh, American because uh, uh, the Pulisic comment after this video about Stefan as well. Anthony, I know what you're on about. Anyway, Anthony said Christian Pulisic is good at right wing at Man City under Pep. Um, 
Maybe, mate. I think Pulisic is a good player, but I don't really think he adds anything that Manchester City don't already have him, being honest, mate. I, th- I think he's actually decent. I think he could kick on quite well with a good attacking coach. But for me, Anthony, not really. But I actually think he would improve under Guardiola, like many forwards. Of course he would. Um, I think Chelsea don't know how to treat their forwards. And I think Pulisic has got an awful lot of ability. And of course, he's scored against us before in the past. So maybe you're right there, Anthony. It isn't going to happen, unfortunately. But I would love to see Pulisic and Pep. Um, but that is not going to happen, man, unfortunately. Um, but this signing, thank you so much for Super Chat. But this signing is decent. It is solid. Uh, and it's a good little bit of business. We'll see how it goes. I haven't got much more to add than that because that's all I know about the guy. Let me know what you think about it in the chat and I'll read out some of you, uh, some of your comments. Um, yeah, he did mention that Harlan failed to score against him in the interview. Must be good then. I like that. I like that an awful lot. Uh, I like that confidence, man. And he's obviously going to give it to Harlan when he sees him in person. Um, well, Scott, Carson, extend- Carson has extended Peter Walsh. He has. Uh... Yeah, he has extended already, so that's good news. Carson is sort of there for, like, true emergencies. You know, true emergencies. Um, yeah, I love that Ortega quote, by the way, in Haaland. He said he's an outstanding player. The body shape, his technique, his shooting, headers, he has everything. But he didn't score against me in the Bundesliga. Go on, man. Go on, man. I, I absolutely admire that. Um, could there be a double announcement today, Alfie? I don't know, mate. Uh, Calvin Phillips. Um, it could be today. He's having his medical today, so we'll have to see. Um uh, Stephen, your thoughts on Ortega being a hothead? I didn't even know he was, man. I can't, I can't answer that question for you. That is news to me. Uh, but I don't mind a hothead as a goalkeeper. I like a goalkeeper with a bit of passion and a bit of fire. Uh, he doesn't look like he'd be a hothead, but if he is, bring it on, man. Uh, I love a bit of entertainment. Um, and maybe we've got another potential cult hero here in the way that we had with Bravo eventually and Willy Caballero and so on. Um, I like a, I like a likable backup keeper. So if he's got a bit of personality about him and a little bit of fight, good on him, man. Good on him. Um, yeah, I, I've asked around, I've DM'd around about people who know the Bundesliga, Zeke. Uh, I've not got any replies yet, uh, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll try and find a little bit more information. But overall, I mean, you can learn what you want to learn about him quite easily online. Just an excellent shot stopper. Uh, ex- genuinely excellent shot stopper. Reliable, aggressive with his footwork, quick off his line, a good passer. Not a great passer, maybe, but a good passer. And a guy who's clearly very ambitious, who wants to challenge Edison, who isn't here just to pick up a few trophies, sit on the bench. He really wants to come and play for one of the best clubs in the world and improve his game. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this goes. Um, Beyond Ultra Gaming said, I really like looking at the Tiger. It looks like a statement sign in a sense we could push Edison to become better or possibly needed it possibly needed to overtake Edison we'll see mate I like the way you think and we'll actually see guys thanks for watching this video I've got a whole more bunch of videos to make today it could be about Jesus it could be about Calvin Phillips we'll see when we see for now though I'm sure I'll catch you very later on uh, the day have a good day let me know in the comments if you think of Ortega like comment subscribe all the usual stuff I'll catch you in a bit